And hello from Stuttgart. Delighted to be able to report that the regulars behind the goal and the Cannstatter Kurve are in place as usual. We're at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box as always by Lee Dixon. And we're in position and ready to bring you live action from the German top flight, the Bundesliga. It is Stuttgart up against Hannover. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. And so the Stuttgart starting 11. I'll tell you what, you don't see this formation every day of the week. No, I mean, it looks very attack-minded with the three up front. The three in midfield supplying the width as well, but I'm a little bit worried about the three centre-backs. Will they get exposed in the wide areas? Here's the starting 11 for Hannover. And now they get the ball rolling. Waman Gituka. Roberto Soriano. Connor Cody now. Wataru Endo. A bit sloppy in possession. Now can they create something? Chance here. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see, the ideal way to begin. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender and then threw on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. nil then Joao Pedro Cody on the ball Roberto Soriano Dalla dangerous looking attack A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Use of a goal in the Leipzig match, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Hamburg. 
Nine minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Chances on. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him, gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Going their way, 2-0. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Not what he was intending, bad pass. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Endo. And the pass could do damage. He just needs to keep a cool head. And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here we see it again, Derek. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at the keepers. But to be fair, it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much better, to be honest. Just a bit unfortunate, it really dropped to an opponent. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Becker. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Bonna Sosa. He's using his strength to good effect, and that puts them in position. And close, but offside nonetheless. Pedersen. Becker. It did look on for them, but not to be. An alert intervention. I believe there's been a goal in the Bayern match. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bayern Munich. 24 minutes played. 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left-footed. And the right place to cut out the pass. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Beautifully timed. What a shocking pass, really. Rodriguez. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that. It has to be. Oh, and it goes. Now they're level. Who saw this coming? Incredible. Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement and guile to easily evade the defender. But you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. Well, as the game has restarted, we're left to reflect on four goals. 2-2. Two -two. And let's join Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Bayern match. Alan? It's a second goal for Bayern Munich. 31 minutes played. 2-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Dalla. Rodriguez. It's with Joao Pedro. 
it's a perfect challenge. Throw-ins given. Karazor. Dalla. On the ball, Roberto Soriano. Waman Gituka. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. He's protecting it well. And now they have the ball back. Oh, a lovely ball. Real chance. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when he's hit that hard. Well, he's got to be delighted with his players. A big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front. They're in the lead. Well done. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. Well, look at the stats. Stuttgart enjoying the bulk of possession here, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Now well, they've lost the ball. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Vargas. Well, it's one pass after another. Well, can he make it count? Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. Played into the centre of the box. Able to deal with the threat. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And now they get... The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Mikel Marino. Real danger. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And a throw in forthcoming. Pedersen. But a lot to look forward to on the live action front here on EA TV. Well, it could be on for him here. Didn't fool the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. Over it comes. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. It's still alive. And a time for calm on the ball. Joao Pedro. Giving the ball away. And possession given away. Dalla. Roberto Soriano. 
And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Takes it on. Oh, a smart stop. One goal down, but now a corner kick. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Corner kick played in. The end product just wasn't there. Being pressed hard. Valdemar Anton. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, we see it again here, and the pace and accuracy of this passing is a dream. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. Once again, the sides are level. This is a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. Vargas Take some progress with the ball at his feet Can he put them in front? And the attack showed promise but easy work for the keeper in the end and let's join Alan McAdami because I believe there's been a goal in the Gladbach game Alan It's a second goal for Borussia Dortmund 65 minutes played, 2-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Beautifully disguised ball. A really high quality save. Well, it's all about concentration. Goalkeepers can go so long without doing anything. Look at that stretch. He's driven in the corner. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Another live match from the Bundesliga coming up soon on EA TV. It's Hannover taking on Bayer Leverkusen. Yeah, Derek, it should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Nice looking pass. Went in strongly, decisively. Valdemar Anton Waman Gituka on the ball Roberto Soriano Joao Pedro it was a menacing attack but tidied up Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Vargas. Use of a goal in the Leipzig match. Alan Akinali. It's a second goal for Hamburg. 76 minutes played. 2 1. Might take the lead. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, there's all types of goals, spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. A chance to revisit the goal. A 
big moments in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, Alan McAdally was in full flow. Unfortunately, we had to cut him off just moments ago. To clarify, Hamburg have scored in that match. And they're in front at the moment by two goals to one. Karazor. Cody. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. Surely they'll get another chance. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Vargas. Nunez. We're getting the ball forward. Potential danger here. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left and the margin just one. Cody. I believe there's been a goal in the Bayern match. Let's hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Bayern Munich. Well, a badly timed run. Just a fraction offside. And they will make the change now. Well, we're sorry for interrupting you there, Alan. Just to confirm, Bayern did score in that game. And they are seemingly cruising now. 3-0 in front. Not a good pass. Nunez. This looks promising. Teammate available. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here we can take another look at it. You've got to ask questions about the keeper's positioning. That's half of his job. He can put the best keeper in the world wrong side of the goal. He won't save anything. A scoreline we see all that often 5-3 and that is that the referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors Lee yeah Derek this lot as we've said not only like scoring goals they find it very easy it's not I can tell you that lovely energetic creative play today brilliant to watch A bit sloppy in possession. 